guys, it's Rachel and today I have another video for you, obviously. So this video is in collaboration with another girl here on YouTube. Her name is Mia and we're doing a Valentine's Day daytime date themed collaboration. So she's going to be doing an outfit and I'm going to be doing the makeup. So if you want to know what to wear with this look, um, check out her channel. I will leave all her links down below. She's really sweet, really nice. You should go over, give her some love, tell her I sent you. So anyway, today's look is again daytime theme, so it's kind of sultry and soft, nothing too heavy or crazy, um, and it's focusing more on like glowy skin, so of course there are pinks on the eyes because Valentine's Day everyone puts pink eye tutorials up, so you know, gotta follow the trend. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure to check out Mia, again all her links will be down below. Now let us get started. <laughs> Hey guys, I know I'm looking a little bit rough today, acne of course, but anyways, let's get started with the makeup. So I want to have a glowy complexion for this look, so I'm using Laura Mercier's Radiance Primer and this gives you a really beautiful lip from within look. Next, I'm prepping my lips with the Tony Moly Lip Balm in this really adorable lip container because having kissable lips is very important if you're going on a date. Next, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation with the Beauty Blender. And I know you must be wondering why would I use a matte foundation over a radiant primer, but this foundation has a really natural finish to it and it's very smooth and really beautiful on the skin. And the primer underneath it really enhances it and makes it glow a little bit more, which is why I want it to pair it together. And plus, I have oily skin, so I need a matte foundation. Next, I'm going to be filling in my brows with my Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia and then I'll be setting it with my Maybelline Brow Drama and I'm not doing anything too fancy or dramatic, just my basic everyday brows. Next, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear and NC30 to conceal under my eyes and any spots that I have. I'm not doing any crazy under eye highlights since this is a daytime look, but I'm applying a little bit more than what I usually do on a daily basis. I'm going to add a little bit of Benefits Watts Up on my cheekbones to give my skin a little bit more glow. I'm using my Bare Minerals Well Rested to add a little bit more brightness under my eyes and then I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil to set my T-zone since I have oily skin. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Smudge Pot in Ain't That Sweet as a base for this look. I'm applying it all over my lid and into my inner tear duct. I'm going to take Wanderer, a warm brown for the Tartlet palette, and I'm going to be using this as a transition color for this look. I'm going to be taking this up to my brow bone. Next, I'm taking the lightest shade in the Mad From Off Quad from Maybelline, which is an iridescent pink shade, and I'm going to be patting that onto my lid. Next, I'm going to be going into my Naked 3 palette. I'm taking the shade Mud Shot, which is a taupe shade with a little bit of a pinky sheen to it. And I'm going to be applying this to the outer half of my lid, and then I'm going to be dragging it, it into my crease as well. And then I'm also going to be taking it on a smudger brush and applying it to my lower lash line. I'm going to take Dust, a glittery white pink, from the Naked 3 as an inner corner highlight and then I'm going to take Strange which is a matte white from the same palette I'm going to be using that as a brow bone highlight. Now taking a clean blending brush I'm going to be blending together my brow bone shade with my crease shade and my transition shade. Next, I'm going to be winging out my eyeliner using my Makeup Forever Aqua Eye Shell Eyeliner. Nothing too dramatic, but the wing is a little bit bigger than what I wear every day. And it's hard getting this in the shot, so please bear with me.
For lashes, I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extension Mascara in two coats of this makes my lashes look huge, so no falsies for this daytime look. So this is the finished look, now let's move on to the rest of the face. Next, I'm going to take Bare Minerals Faux Tan on a big fluffy brush and I'm going to be using this to warm up my face. And to add a little bit more definition to my face, I'm going to be taking my Sephora Los Cabos bronzer and just on a smaller taper brush, I'm going to be contouring my cheekbones, under my lip, and my nose. And then for blush, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals blush in The One, and this is just a really pretty and neutral pink shade. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit more highlight with my Reserve Your Cabana highlighter from Wet n Wild. And this is a really natural highlight so it doesn't look too over the top. For my lips, I'm going to go for a soft, neutral lip. So I'm going to be starting off with Jordana's Easy Liner in the shade Rock and Rose. This is like kind of a dusty rose mauve brownie shade. And I'm going to be doing that to outline my lips. And then I'm going to be going over it with a Bite Luminous Cream Lipstick and Musk, which is a light pink shade. And this lipstick is food grade. So you know if you end up kissing someone and they get some lipstick on them, it's okay because it's food grade. And then this is the finished look. It's simple, girly, but a little bit dressed up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Also, don't forget to check out Mia's video which I'll link in the description.